Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome back to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So what you see here is my last run last night where I tried to attempt to take down the Stormcaller alone. After I've tried it with my friend, we were in there with two dogs and we're pretty optimistic that we can take down the Stormcaller knowing that the dogs will revive us if things go south. And uh, then we had to learn that the Stormcaller was sucking health from the dogs and we never really got his health down. And then the dogs died and we ran out of time and we just, we just had to give up. So as you can see here, this is the run after that. And I decided to go in with the XRX sniper rifle uh, some people were recommending. And I thought, why not? Let's try and see how this does. It is not a PAP 3 weapon. It's only PAP 2. And I have only a blue ether tool on it. So nothing special. But when I rewatched this video, I noticed that I actually was able to knock pulse off the Stormcaller pretty well with that gun. If I didn't have to deal with this horde of zombies plus a mimic chasing me the whole time, which made it almost impossible for me to even deal with the Stormcaller. I was just too busy taking down zombies and I was like, now I finally found a way to take down a Stormcaller that actually works, but I can't do it because the zombies are constantly chasing me. And I think at this point, I had used up all my Cosmeers and decoy grenades, or maybe I had one left, I don't even know. And I even had a turret on the, on the roof, which didn't really help much at all. I used my field upgrade. I basically used everything that I could and I still struggled. And I was like, there's no way. If I could just have someone distract the zombies for me so I can just sit there with my sniper and take about 20 shots to get them out, take them out. I knew watching the videos that that was definitely possible if I could just focus on the Stormcaller. While I normally play solo, I do often play with my friend on the weekends, meaning Fridays and Saturdays, and this weekend was no different, so I played with, with him last night. We didn't have any success because of the dogs. Look at that. The mimic was chasing me. And you can see that the gun is actually pretty powerful just with the PAP 2 and the blue ether tool. So I told my friend about this run I had last night after he went off and he was like, let's try it again. I'm going to distract the zombies while you focus on taking out the Stormcaller with this sniper rifle. And of course, I was all into that. I wanted to know if that's possible. I was like, there is a chance that that might actually work. So here we are. I have my XRX sniper rifle with me again. But this time I actually put an epic ether tool on that I happen to have in my stash. And uh, other than that, I just have my swords as usual. And he brought a weapon that is perfect for taking out hordes of zombies, whatever that is. But anyway, so I think he didn't have a self revive. I had like one. We didn't have any gas mask. We had like basically nothing. So we knew we had to do a bunch of contracts and a bunch of looting to get enough stuff to actually tackle the storm caller. So when it was about 10 minutes before Exfil, we finally felt like we had everything. But the only thing we realized we didn't have was gas mask. Neither of us had a gas mask. We each had like three self revives or I had two and he had one. So now we had each two. And we also had the healing field upgrade, which really helps a lot when you can't get to your body uh, you're farther away. So we felt really, really good, but I was like, I don't know. I mean, we have no gas mask. That's kind of, that's, that's kind of stupid. How are we going to do this with zero gas mask? I mean, we're literally running into a storm where we can't breathe. And he was like, nah, come on, we do it. No wor worries. Let's just do it. I'm like, okay, if he feels good about it, we're going to do it. I mean, what's the worst? It can't, it's not going to work again. 
But then we were like, where the hell is the storm caller? We couldn't see him anywhere. So I ran in a little bit, he ran in a little bit to kind of lure him. But we couldn't find him. We were just like, oh my god, did someone already take him out after all this like prep that we just did? But we didn't want to give up. We were like, you know, I know from the run yesterday that I didn't see him right away and I thought he wasn't there and it took a while for him to show himself. But I was like, I can't be too long in the storm because I have no gas mask. So I don't know what we're going to do. How are we even going to get to him if we have, if we can't even go into the middle of the storm to get to him, to find him? If we just sit out here, he may never show. So I didn't really feel very confident about this whole thing so i thought i'm gonna run to the other side of the storm the opposite where my friend was to just see if i maybe see him from this side and i ran and i looked and i did still not see him and then my friend was all of a sudden saying hey i see him he's over on my side and I'm like, really? Now that I went, ran over and I saw him, I saw him right away. And I'm like, oh my God, I have him, I have him. Now, if you can hold the zombies away from me, then I should be okay. I just need to be able to get headshots into the storm caller. And he's like, don't even worry about it. I will do my best to keep most of the zombies away from, from you. And there he is dealing with the zombies. And he's like, just focus on the headshots. So here I go. One, two, and I really knocked him there. Can you see he was just startled for a little while? But I was really worried that he's going to come at us because he can come really fast and suck us again. That was my biggest worry at this point because I was trusting that my friend's taken out most of the zombies. And he did a really good job. As you can see here, got another headshot. And this one was not necessarily a headshot. I think that was a headshot. So I'm really trying to focus on his head. And I already have like almost half. And I get so excited. I mean, it took me only about five headshots to get him to half. Here we go. I'm now more than half in. So I just want to make sure that he cannot suck any of us. Because <laughs> I have to worry that he can suck my friend or me. And I'm getting more and more excited the more headshots I get in because his health is getting really low and we just started. So I feel like really, really good about it. And I know that I could not have done this without my friend at all. So this was a great headshot right there. Headshot, headshot. And now it dawns on me that I have to be in the storm and I last minute remember and go in and take the last shot and he's down. I just remembered. I almost screwed this up again and I, I was, you don't even know how I felt at this time. I tried this at least six times and I was getting so tired of this mission. When this finally worked, I was just so ecstatic. It took me probably an hour to get off this high. I just couldn't believe that this was so easy, uh, but it was only possible because he kept the zombies away from me. Otherwise, I probably would have never been able to do this just because you cannot handle the horde plus the storm collar at the same time. So I don't know. I finally did it. I am so, 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 so happy that this worked. But unfortunately, it wasn't something I could do solo. I really wanted to do this solo, but at least it's done now. But I have mixed feelings because I know that this is probably the last zombie mission that I was able to do even with him because we both don't think that we can handle the clearing an infested stronghold in the high threat zone because we don't even dare to go into the high threat zone because if there's not enough time to collect the money for a tier three weapon and then go in and then still having to do an infested stronghold. There's just not enough time. As you can see, it takes us like 35 minutes just to get tier two weapon and all the self revives you need. And then there's very, very little time after that to actually do an actual mission. 
I just have come to the conclusion that I have just reached my limit of what I can actually do solo or even with my friend and that I have to probably just give up on doing the missions and now just play for fun and do just other things in this game mode because I love it so much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope to see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, take care, bye bye.